Hello friends, welcome to today's video. As you can tell from the title of this video, I am going to be unboxing my July BoxyCharm. This is a narrow little box this month. I have not been spoiled on this whatsoever. If I had to make a guess, I'd say maybe there's some brushes in here uh, and you know, definitely not a full size palette. So we will see. Uh, let's open this up and I'll open it so you guys can see that I can't. Oh, there's gonna say a couple of cards in here but that's not true yes there is I'm actually not gonna look at those because they'll oftentimes give you discounts on things that are in here and I don't want to know this feels like brushes am I right oh okay so this is from Luxie we get a lot of Luxie brushes in subscription services these are the Gaia brushes unleash your true beauty beauty <laughs> unleash your true beauty by being kind to the earth please help keep our planet beautiful by recycling this packaging okay and so what are we going to get in here and are they going to be the usual pink brushes yes they are okay oh well they're slightly different so usually the handles on luxie brushes are pink plastic these ones appear to be um like a wood product that's been painted pink uh, so we get a foundation brush in here. This is a large eye blending brush that actually looks pretty nice and fluffy and these are all synthetic bristles. There's a couple that haven't been cut completely right. Uh, and then we have a precision crease brush. I personally wouldn't use this as a precision crease brush. I mean, I guess you could use it sort of to really get in there and place the color. I'd be more likely to use a little flat brush like this for going into a color you want to pack all over the lid or specifically for wedding to be able to put on some kind of shimmer shade and pack that onto the lid or a metallic. Uh, okay, so I mean, we always say you can't have too many brushes. I definitely have a lot of brushes that currently need cleaning. Uh, right now I'm at that point where I'm just cleaning the few that I need for that day or the next day at a time because I just don't wanna go the whole set and start cleaning them. So I definitely will be able to put these to use. I don't know about this one. I don't really put my foundation on with a flat brush like this, but if you do get one of these and you find you are never using it, for foundation. Uh, one of the things you can do with these sort of more flat brushes is use them to apply face masks if you want to apply a thin layer, if you don't want to get your hands too messy. And I do appreciate that they didn't put this in plastic packaging like they usually do. I actually think this is quite a bit prettier, this packaging, uh, and it can be recycled. So for my next item, there is some kind of squeezy tube, so I'm guessing skincare. Okay, we have something from Elemis. This is the Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. I received a um, moisturizer previously from Elemis, a very pricey moisturizer, so I'm gonna guess that this is a pricey item as well. I did do a review on that, I will link that down below. And if you guys have watched my channel at all, you know that I love masks, especially ones that aren't sheet masks, because then I can put them on, I can chat, I can do things. So this is a nourishing prebiotic green mask. Prebiotic, that's interesting, because usually I thought the whole idea with prebiotics is that it's stuff that you ingest, not stuff that would necessarily make a difference on your skin, but we'll look into that. Uh, so, feed the skin with this versatile super green mask. Formulate it with avocado and broccoli seed oils. Rich in omega fatty acids to help support the skin's moisture barrier. Vitamin C and passion fruit acids help brighten for a fresh looking complexion. Uh, they suggest you use it twice weekly on cleansed skin and a slight tingling may occur while the mask works its magic. It's a 10 minute mask. Uh, and yeah, that's what they say. So I am looking forward to testing this. I am at a point right now for the next week and a half, things are going to be crazy, crazy and then hopefully even out a bit after that, but having a nice relaxing mask experience is always appreciated. And I'm betting you when we check the price on that, that it's going to be higher than you would expect. Okay. I have no idea what this is. It's some kind of squishy kind of thing. Oh, okay. Cleansing spa water. Uh, this is, what is this? I was gonna say makeup remover, but is it? It's a cleansing water cloth makeup remover. Um, my initial reaction to this is, I'm not super jazzed about this. I think this is ironic, that we put in the 
earth helping inspired recyclable packaging for the brushes and then at the same time give us cleansing cloths. Uh, I don't use these generally. I find they create more waste than is needed. I've actually never been a cleansing cloth person so I never really got into the habit of it. Um, but I don't think I want to use something that I throw out every time I go to clean my face. So I do use cleansers, oil cleansers, my cellar water, which I know there's a little cotton pad that I use with that. Uh, but this is from, after that little ranty rant, uh, this is from uh, Cogendo. It is only 10 that are in here, but it is cleansing spa water. It contains natural herbal essences using Azumo natural spa water, oil free and mildly acidic. Uh, okay, quick and easy skincare collection infused with thermal spring water and natural herbs in our spa blend water. Uh, quickly and gently removes makeup, leaving nutrients to replenish and rejuvenate skin. Removes waterproof without leaving oil res oily residue. It's oil free and rinse free and made from 100% cotton. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit more research on this and I'm definitely going to end up using them. Um, I just have reservations generally about using makeup wipes. I do think they are great for certain applications. Maybe that's while travel or while camping. I probably could have used those last month so that I at least was removing my buildup of like sunscreen and stuff better at the end of the day when I was camping. Uh, okay, so we've gotten a couple of tool kind of things uh, and then a mask that's so very skincare focused so far. And then we have two items left. One feels like a little narrow palette, so I'm gonna go for the other one that maybe feels like a lip product and a little boxy box. Uh, okay, this is Luna by Luna, and it's a it's the lip product called Mars. Is Luna, I feel like there are so many skincare or makeup companies that have sort of that uh, universe thing in it. Like I'm trying to think, is Luna um, the makeup company by, like Manny? I, I, I feel like it would say that if it was, but what do we have here? Okay, this is a lip gloss. <laughs> Again, I promise at some point I'm going to do sort of my lip gloss roundup review video, but this one's interesting because it's kind of a nude, almost brown with purple undertones kind of gloss. Has a very sweet scent to it, and it seems like a thicker more pigmented gloss, I'll just do this, and it seems to have maybe some pink micro shimmer in there. So this seems like it's going to be one of those more nourishing kinds of glosses if there's nourishing ingredients in there. I keep a little uh, jar, like cup of these, so that I have lip glosses, different ones depending on what I'm in the mood for. So I'm always kind of grabbing them and putting them on or grabbing them and throwing them in my purse. So I'm definitely going to get use out of this. And this is like, wow, totally the season of lip gloss right now. We are out of uh, matte lip products and into super glossy. So for the last thing here, I think this is some kind of palette, maybe an eye palette. Oh, okay, it's from Butter London. I tend to really enjoy Butter London products. And what do we have here? Oh, that's actually really, really pretty. Okay. So here are the colors and there's some really unique ones in there from that sort of nice moss green to that bright blue. And then we still have some neutrals in here and a dark shade. I do, it's the Natural Goddess palette and I do enjoy how they've made everything sort of like wood grained and flowers. I think that's really pretty, pretty packaging. Uh, and this is a company that started out as, I believe, a nail polish company and then branched out into makeup. Um, but I tend to feel very positive about it, so I feel like I've had good luck with their products before. Uh, should I do, let's do some initial swatches. I'll do the blue and the green because those seem the most interesting to me and I'll try not to swatch them where there was lip gloss. So I'll go on this side of my wrist, refocused. So the green is sort of a satin and then the blue is more matte. And actually, interestingly, that's coming out as much more of like a aqua kind of color. Turquoise, maybe that's the word I'm looking for. Okay, so that is everything that was in the box. I feel, um, I would say neutral about this. I've had subscription boxes for so long that I have so many brushes. I don't get, I never mind getting them. It's not like it's a product I'm not gonna use, but I don't get super jazzed about it. It's not super exciting. And those makeup wipes are, eh, 
you know, like I, I told you how I feel about them, but I think the mask is awesome. Uh, the lip gloss, I'll use it. Um, and then I think the eyeshadow palette looks really pretty. So I'm very excited about the mask and the eyeshadow palette. I'm somewhat neutral, but will use the brushes and the lip gloss. And then I kind of wish it was something other than the makeup wipes. I bet being a Cogendo, I bet these are going to be more pricey than we would expect them to be. So let's take a look at what we got here. Um, we also got this little thing, which is, uh, okay, some kind of like skin bar coupon for Ulta. We don't have Ulta here in Canada, so I'm just going to put that aside. And BoxyCharm's theme for the month, month, which I kind of see, is Au Natural. You can see that with the brushes and with the palette that has that very wood grain look. I think they go totally off track with the makeup wipes, but that's just my thought. So the Elemis Superfood Vital Veggie Mask, oh, it's $35. That's way less than I expected it to be, actually. Uh, so that's awesome. If it works out well, it means it's really affordable. The Butter London Palette, the Natural Goddess Eyeshadow Palette, uh, is $32. Again, that's not a bad price. Uh, the Gaia 3 piece piece brush set, $30. That's about standard for Luxie. Their brushes tend to run about like $10 per brush in a set. Luna by Luna, that is an $18 lip gloss. I always find it a little hard to justify lip glosses that are above drugstore level because I feel like you can get good ones there. Uh, but it is apparently an expertly pigmented lip gloss that delivers high shine with long lasting color and the look of fuller lips. It's a non-sticky gloss formula that applies smoothly and won't drip. I've never had a problem with lip gloss dripping, but okay. And then these <laughs> Cogendo Spa Cleansing Water Gloss. There are 10 of them in here, and this is apparently $17. That's kind of crazy. So they say that these convenient cotton cleansing spa water cloths remove waterproof makeup and impurities while nourishing skin with a mineral rich cleansing spa water. Um, I think that's a really high price for cleansing cloths when you can usually get them very cheaply in other places. Uh, I also, I don't know, I mean, I guess you take, you cleanse and then you don't rinse. That would feel strange for me. Um, but we will test it out and see. So let me know down below if you got the same thing in your box or which products you would like to see me test, which ones you're excited about, which ones you're less excited about, all of that fun stuff. Uh, leave it in the comments down below. I try to respond to comments as much as possible. It's a busy couple of weeks, so I may be a little delayed for it. But thank you so much for joining me for this today. If you do like these unboxings, give this a thumbs up, and I look forward to seeing all of you in my next video. Bye.